ほらほらほらほら<笑>元気を出してうるせえなおいタカヤンタカヤどうしたのめっちゃキュートぶってへおはい、こんにちは、ありがとうございます。Anyway, yeah, hi, I'm Chikyo Sam, and welcome to Roppongi, the top of the tier of Tokyo. Today, let's learn a little bit about this place, and、uh, let's learn why I don't like it either. Let's go! Yeah, d a d Japan's a hard place to live in, man. I tell you what. Please just give me back my family. I'll tag anything you want. Just give them back. Ah, Roppongi, Tokyo. Located within the rich and exclusive ward known as Minato-ku. Its name means six trees. Mostly known for being the location of Tokyo's many foreign embassies, global conglomerates, and also internationally themed nightlife. But under the lightly thin surface layer of its shining reputation lies a harsher reality. One that is darker and preys on the gullibly weak who choose to unwisely venture into its unforgiving domain. For those of us who are veteran Tokyo dwellers know more than better than to try to enter into the most obvious and dangerous of tourist traps, simply known as Roppongi. Hey, what, what do you think of Roppongi? Do you like Roppongi? It is a lovely place. One second, I gotta pick this. Hey! Roppongi ga daiski desu ka? Roppongi ga daiski desu yo. That's funny. Oh,、uh, shit. So, I mean, shut your whore mouth.、Uh, but yeah, again, when it comes to stuff like Roppongi, though, you're gonna get the good, the bad, and the ugly. Well, most of the time, you just get the bad. Anyway, so what's the history of Roppongi? What kind of place is this? To be honest, I have no fucking idea. What am I? Like Wikipedia? You got a fucking internet. You obviously found this webpage. Why do I gotta give you a history lesson?、Now? Anyway, let's go on to the next topic. So, another thing that you're gonna get when you come to Roppongi is just Roppongi's like, the, it's the place where you lose your money. It's either you're getting ripped off by some place that's way too cheap, or you're going to a place that's way too expensive. Either way, you're losing your fucking money, and some chick just stole my wallet. Is that another of your weird Japanese shows? It's called anime, and it's an art form. Motherfucker! If you guys don't remember, I actually did a video on Tokyo Pub Crawl、uh, like a couple years ago. My friends,、uh, Andrew and Brett, and Chris are the ones that run this. It's actually a really popular thing. But the only catch is that it's in fucking shitty ass Roppongi. And up until a couple years ago, Japan had this stupid ass law that you couldn't dance in the nightclubs. This is like literally footloose. Asia real version. Like, I'm not even joking. Fucking, like, here, just pop, 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 pop. Look at all those different articles. It's all, but they, they changed it recently. But still, after they changed it, it was a little too much, too late. Now everyone can dance, but no one gives a shit because the clubs here suck anyway. <laughs> this, is,、uh, this is the pink cow. This is where a lot of foreigners congregate. And, uh, Black History Month buffet. Oh, forget about it. Do they really have a buffet? How can you be black in Tokyo and not know about it? And people wonder why I say no. I stroll into the picture, but I can resist. Me, how to live in Japan. What's、I、my name? From the best. What's my name? It doesn't matter what your name is. <laughs> no, the chicken! No, the chicken! We're a public、oh, fucking、Ow! This is the dad's Hashtag the white people.、Is. Chipped in and invite your own to the tea party! Would you guys like some more tea? Nigga, fuck your tea! <laughs> He can't hear me now, he's in a different place. You're in a different world in time, my friend. I'll never see you again. Can I just get a beer? Draft beer? Yeah! yeah fucking dragon sword! You know it! You know it! Yeah! Okay, so this is a perfect example of another reason why I don't like Roppongi, okay? This used to be a famous 
fucking kebab place and look it's shut down now and the reason why is because Roppongi is famous for having street touts here in Roppongi the, the street touts are famous for being either like Nigerian or like freaking Turkish. Middle Eastern or yeah just African Middle Eastern Turkish whatever and they they were famous for getting people off the street to come and just basically hey man come over here and go into my club and unfortunately a lot of people still fall to these scams every day where some guy will say hey come to my club teach these for Uganda man and you go in there they'll put a little drop drop in your drink drink then basically you get credit cards swiped you get GHB you get college girls Rape. It's not even normal rape, you get college girl rape. That's really fucked up. Yeah, hey, yeah, let's see, that guy knows what I'm talking about. But anyway, that's another reason why I'm not really very fond of Roppongi. It's simply because it's infamous for having people take you, take normal people that are walking off the street, getting them into their club, and basically drugging them, and then, you know, you're lucid, you give them your credit card, and they basically just take you for a ride. This is a prime example of Japan's police force actually doing something this guy the people that worked here they would actually grab you off the street and try to pull you in here and uh, I guess a couple cops got way more enough complaints from actual Japanese people to be honest if you're foreign and you get fucking drugged and you get scammed they don't give a shit about you but if you're Japanese the cops might actually move their asses sorry guys we're not open yet yep, sorry hey. they're always trying to steal me lucky charms you know the sexual predator yeah you stupid they're not. What's 9 plus 10? 21. You stupid. So, Asia, do you know why they keep a majority of the African touts in here or Kabukicho? Uh, no, I don't actually. It's because the cops, they're smart, but they're also assholes. This is another a prime example of Japan being vague as shit when it comes to not wanting to say real talk. Now, the fact of the matter is, is that they let people, like the touts, stay in this kind of fucking, in this area in Roppongi or Kabukicho because they want to concentrate all those people and all that bad shit into one area and they know that. Can we real talk AJ? Let's real talk Can bro. Can we fucking real talk? Okay, this is another thing I fucking hate about Roppongi is bars, clubs here, it's just shitty music, overpriced drinks, and it's just full of foreigners, which is fine. Hey, I love for Hey, you know what? I am a foreigner. Let's talk a lot of shit. They talk a lot of shit. Hey, point is, bars here suck. Full, full of overpriced, shitty, watered-down drinks that are expensive. Full of foreigners that are only visiting here for two seconds. And most of all, uptight bitches who only fuck people like AJ. <laughs> he means with a good smile and personality is what he means. It's not what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> I know how to catch you. I saw Chris Hansen. <laughs> Get a 14 year old girl to just fight you. Like why do you, you have a seat right here, huh? And he's like, I'm not that kind of predator. There's a cockroach in there the size of fucking Willie Nelson. I don't know. Dad? Dad, is that you? Dad, you need to go. Dad, it's time for a swim. Dad, no. Yeah. Come on, go back. It's time to swim in the pool. Come on. Sw okay. Swimming time. And that pretty much summarizes what Roppongi is to me. A little cockroach that needs to be forcibly killed. I mean... That you call your dad? That I call my dad. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching today's video. It was a pretty fucking good video, right? Anyways, now before the end of today's video, I just want to announce last week's winner of the Japanese video game contest is 4929 or whatever the fuck it is. 40! You're the winner of your very own PlayStation Boku no Natsuyasumi. Anyway, 40, just PM me later with your address and all the info or whatever, and I'll, you will be getting this soon. Like always, guys, if you want to support me on YouTube and help me keep pumping out videos, the best way to do that is is to go over to my Patreon channel. On my Patreon channel, we got blog, behind the scenes footage, Japanese lessons. Hell, we even offer tours in Japan. If you guys are still craving your daily dosage of Tikyo Sam, be sure to go over and follow me on Instagram. Anyways, like always, thanks for watching, guys, and I will catch you on the next one. Yeah, buddy! Woo!